in order for you to leave that town, you had to have your own transportation, your own ride. You get what I'm saying? Have your own car. Have to have your own car. There was no Lyft and there was no Uber. There was no Ras, no Target, no Walmart. Okay, so in today's video, I'll be discussing, or actually not discussing, I'll be telling you guys about my work and travel experience, right? So if you're interested, just like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, so the first thing was, first thing is I was placed in Wisconsin, right? My job was in Wisconsin, and so I spent my entire work and travel period in Wisconsin. Cool. So now I was working at Triggs Food and Drugs, right? So it's a grocery store in Wisconsin. They have a couple branches. You get what I mean? Okay. And so I was working in there as a cashier, right? Now the difference that I'd say I've never worked as a cashier in Jamaica, but the difference that I would say is that one the cashier does not get a seat so that was the first thing that surprised me when i went the cashier does not get a seat so literally for the eight hour shift i had to be standing on my feet Do you know what I mean? so stand up for the entire time you know what I mean? so when we go i mean say cashier probably my job would be the easiest right because all to the other j ones that will come me yeah, say so, oh everybody know everybody you get me what I mean? all the j ones them and J1 is basically the visa that we go on to America. So when we're over there, everybody refers to, oh, she's a J1 student. Oh, she's she's a J1. I mean, it's just like, that's how they refer to us. That's our immigration status in the country, J1. And so I knew everybody knew everybody, right? So all of the J1 students, everybody knew each other. So I mean, so, oh, them put who in a freezer, them put who in a produce, them put who... I meet so me say that we are me get the easiest job, right? Wrong, wrong, wrong. Me strongly believe say me get one of the hardest jobs ever for work as a cashier. Why? You have to be communicating with people. And you might have said, oh white people, them them not really get problem like Jamaicans. Listen to me. Some of them not no manners, some of them can be disrespectful, some of them will shout, some of them ignorant and it's like me have to deal with it. You get what I mean? I deal with it. And on top of it, I was a black person in that part of Wisconsin. I was a black. Now, if you don't know, Wisconsin is a white state. My majority majority of the people are white. The town that I was living in, majority of the people are white. We can count pan one and a much black people than me. You get me saying? Everywhere you go, everywhere you look, most of the people are white. So black people are really. I'm not saying black people are did it, but black people are really got their god in the place to go live. You get me saying? So it wasn't a black state or it wasn't a mixed black and white state. So literally. We can dip on the street and walk and people are drive past and I brought them neck to look for me because what? It's a black girl in the town. Like me tell you said it real because literally you would have picked them. We can't forget the day and be on like the patio at the house where me that stay and this little girl, two little girls I ride past, I drive I ride them bicycle. And the little girl broke her neck like she, you know when you're frightened? She turned out and she see me and she looks so frightened. Because my black, like, them not used to black people, especially the kids. And when we go on, I say, no man, me concerned. What you mean, they not used to black people? Black people depend on TV and so, you me say? And also, the more we did it, um, I mean, ask people, like the friendly people, my co workers, them supervisors, my manager, and them say, oh, you know what, so I'm mainly white people, they not them party. I'm mainly white people. So that's why it's kind of weird to see a black person, whatever. So I say, okay, me, me, me is a stranger, me is a foreigner to them town, me is a foreigner to this state. You know what I mean? So I say, okay, cool, yeah. Basically, it was a town, it was not a city, right? And as I tell you, say, me mainly the black people, like, more mainly white people did it, right? Mainly white people, it was a small town, it was not a city. You have one Dairy Queen, one McDonald's, one Taco Bell, um, the grocery store made at work, um... Where else did they? Do? They have the bank, and that was the one cinema. That was the entire town. Like you know, take your even an hour to walk out the town. The town start yes sir, and the town end yes sir. And that's where I lived for the 
for the past three and a half months right so you might say oh so they have store and something they have a downtown right you see downtown downtown is a tourist place so it's like Wisconsin have lots of lakes. So, I mean, since people always come and them go a lake and blah blah blah. So now downtown is not for me. I know it's mainly for tourists. When I say tourists, me I mean like it's not no Ross, it's not no Target. There was no Walmart within the town. So if we did like the one time I got Walmart, it was the manager who bring me to the other, the other um Rhinelander. What is that? It's mainly Rhinelander is a city, probably. You would have come to that city because Rhinelander are bigger than where we did then. Right? But the point is there was nothing. And in order for you to leave that town, you had to have your own transportation, your own ride. You get what I mean, sir? Have your own car. You have to have your own car. There was no Lyft and there was no Uber. There was no Ross, no Target, no Walmart. Cool, none of that. It was like they store them downtown and even a name brand store or nothing. It was just like them have... have and okay the store them we need to explain something now the town that i was in i mean the old people live there majority of the people in them all mr old i mean 60 60 other old you get what i mean say them old because when we look funny a young person just a start out them life you're not going to go on to one like that go live you need to you need to live your life you need to see the world so most of the people them who me meet throughout the summer, I just visit them, come visit and them come from LA, them come from Chicago, them come from all about, then it's a visit. The one them who permanently live in the town, they're old people. When me go and see so much old people, I was shocked. I was shook, like, what so much old people? But basically, I them live them. That's where they must spend their retirement and something, right? So that was that. And so most of the, the, the shop, them are some like a knitting, knitting some little basically store with old people like you get what me i say so it was not for young people if you get what me i say so it was like i know for young people cool i know for young people so that was basically the town now my first job so now i start working on my first job and my manager mike mike welcome with we, welcome with we so much on the first go america when we first got Wisconsin, I uh, make Mr. Mike welcome with different links. I uh, Mike was the manager. No, that was the difference between Jamaica and over there. No, in a Jamaica, they would have probably were your your put Mister before they name. Make I mean say because of that we used to. Mike allow if you call it Mike. Everybody does call everybody by their first name regardless of your age. Hey, I mean say so. Somebody who, who went under them sixties, me now go say Mister, me now go say Sir, me call you by your name. So if your name Mike, me say Mike. You know, like there's no age. I'm um, saying no. Me don't know what. It's like you call everybody by them name. You know what I'm In that area. So if whatever your name, if your name Mike, me call it Mike. Regardless of the manager or not, but everybody address each other by them first name at my. Yeah, that's just the culture. There's no Mr. 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 You get me? I said, them no depend on that. If the support was not good from the first job, God alone knows somebody come back to Jamaica from the get go. The support was not so good. So I'm telling you, so I start where never know the money. And that's the thing. You see, each time you mess up, well, I'm working my first job, right? So while I was working at my first job, each time you mess up, they don't condemn you for it. They don't, them understand, say so you don't know where you are. Though. Them understand, say so you don't come from here. And that was it. We're not used to this culture. We're not used to money. We're not used to these things. And so each time I made a mistake, when I first started working as a cashier, I mean, I know the money, give back wrong change, and me just said I lose it. You get me I said Because me, I never understand nothing. But the point is that they were so supportive. They, they just help you feel learn. And that is why if you big up my first job because me I tell you thing, it's like you make a mistake, them now wall it to your head. They get me, they now wall it to your head like that. Like, oh, you make a mistake and listen to me, me not think nobody from that job, my manager, my supervisor, nobody who me work with like co-workers never yet raise their voice after me. Never. Never ever ever raise them voice, never ever brush me off like you know I them would I say. Never give me bad vibes to the extent of my feelings and me just fed up with them completely. You get me saying? So the first job, my first job working at Tribute, it was really good. Good experience, good people. Now, the next thing now, um, yeah, so Triggs provided a house and I was living at the house and yeah. Like one of the pros them to working at Triggs was that my hours were literally guaranteed. My whole 40 hours 
like there was not any time during the summer there was no time in the summer when them just send me home like that the place could have slow or whatever like unless it really 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 bad only one time I ever go home early and it was literally my choice one hour early me go home but the point is that my 40 hours were guaranteed every single week so I made sure I made money no matter what probably the can't work in a tricks I was standing for the full eight hours that's probably it I was standing for the full eight hours then they gave us two 15 minute breaks right so 15 minute like for example my shift was like 1 to 9 right 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the night and so I would get like a 15 minute break around 3.34 then I'd get another 15 minute break at like 7 right so that was basically it but I would get two 15 minute breaks for the day so now after we're done basically talk about my first job and all that let's talk about my full work day let me tell you how my work day got out so my day would start at 4 wake up at 4 in the morning um get ready get ready and something leave then walk to mcdonald's so although mcdonald's was my first job was my second job it got me a mix it up basically because of my schedule for my first job triggs was from one to nine so any second job i got had to work around me they get amazing and so it, that is why i worked six to twelve so i worked six to twelve at mcdonald's and in one to nine at triggs every day you get me a sense? So basically, let me break it down. Day would begin at four, wake up, get ready, all of that, and I would have to reach work for six. No, so basically, McDonald's was not close to where I live. Triggs was like the closer job to me, right? So every day I'd walk to work because I could ride a bicycle, and as I said, public transportation never really run like that in the town. You get what I mean? So you have to have your own vehicle or you ride a bicycle. No, we are far now. We're not in a car. We're not in a car money. Nothing like that. So I had to walk to work every single day. So I would leave out at like, let me say now, a little bit after five there about in order to reach. And let me tell you, say, basically, um, I would work, not work, I would walk basically half an hour, half an hour to 45 minutes every single day just to get to work every single day i'd walk half an hour to 45 minutes so it's 30 to 45 minutes every single day is the walking that i put down in the morning in order to get to mcdonald's every single day that at least when i was start when i was working the seven days a week at one point right so in the beginning i started off working at just trees like then i got my social security number and get all my documents them get my sponsor for your food with all that and that was how mcdonald's came in so in the beginning i was just working what six days a week at mcdonald's and i had one day off right and i said as i said i would do like six hours at mcdonald's and then eight hours at tricks so tricks i would work more at tricks than at uh, mcdonald's in the beginning so I'd work six days a week, so I would work five days at Triggs, six days at um, McDonald's. But basically I'd walk like half 30 minutes to 45 minutes every single morning in order to get to McDonald's. And I would walk like maybe 20 to 25 minutes from McDonald's to get to Triggs after I finish my work at McDonald's. Figure out me I say. So that was what my schedule was like. So imagine me put on so much walk in go work. Then if you come back, I just walk in the body. Listen, by the time I reach up, because all right, the thing is that although my job ends at 12 at McDonald's, sometimes I'm not exactly 12, sometimes I did it until 12 10, 12 15. I finish what me I do, or even 12 20 the latest. By the time I reach, I sit down. Remember, I say, most times, most mornings, I be doing breakfast. Like, your appetite in the day, you're not really one. You get me, I say, and so. Usually me just got work hungry or I drink some juice. We drink juice, but basically we always got work hungry. I always got McDonald's hungry in the morning, right? No, when I leave there, McDonald's does um give you once what McDonald's does give you a free meal, right? You get a free meal after every shift. So when I take my free meal, me me, me fries, um maybe the mac chicken or some nuggets and we're not taking no juice because I have too much hackle to walk that far with the juice now my hand come up to me and say no, we're not taking no juice. 
so basically when I take that food um, by the time I reach up to my um, first job now from downtown come up back not it up up this way it's literally like 12 40 12 40 12 45 so it's like me have to try and stuff my face with that quick and fast and then one o'clock come me just punch in and start with the second job so that is why my diet was bad i was not eating properly everything did kind of just mess up for you me and the next thing so sometimes when i even get the free meal and sometimes i have to give it to my brother and my game so much but the point is that my stomach was never ever ever full i no matter what but it's always still hungry because one minute in the breakfast me go through me done bona six hours shift in the morning then me leave sometimes i can have eat what i have you get me say? and me just have to start work start work one o'clock start the eight hour shift and like literally sometimes time go for you just never know no my diet is so bad my meaning i eat properly and all of that stuff you get me say? and then you say all right you say my first start work i'm like oh, really frightened me i said oh free meal free meal you see after like maybe the first two three weeks me did tired like me did tired of it because like me used to this me i eat it every day from a win so me tired like now and so it just you know it just get cliding you know me i said like there was nothing else to eat the fries did bad me i said me i tell you said the mcdonald's fries are some is literally one of the baddest fries they may ever eat the fries are bad I feel the nuggets, the nuggets fresh. Like everything else on the menu, it was fresh. No local season, no local salt. Like I said, them like them stuff over there, but me, there was no chicken, nothing where can really say it is. There was no KFC. Me say not even patty, nothing, no Jamaican restaurant, nothing at all. Like, me tell you. Nothing at all. Like, no local KFC, no nothing. And so basically, my cooking skills are really that which part is supposed to be, right? So, me just basically when you not eat properly, me have no time for people cook it. Like, I went for me to say, you know, I'm going to try to learn to cook it. I so, never have the time, so that just never did happen because I always at work. When I not work, I have to go somewhere whether um where do the cultural activities that, that is required by the sponsor, but I always do something and so as a result, I never really pay much attention to my diet like that. I never that take care of myself like that. Forget what I say. But me I eat, me eat pure foolishness. Pure foolishness. Sometimes I come in at night time, me eat some ice cream and go on my bed. Like literally that was it. Me drink some juice, me go on my bed. Like they need, they need to have this deli chicken and me tell you so the deli chicken could have gone, but can't compare to Jamaican fried chicken or even KFC chicken. I don't like could have compare. But yeah, that was literally it. Um, as for McDonald's, like literally McDonald's, the environment, you know, I tell her, like one of the toxic environment, one of the toxic est, toxic est environment them ever in a yet. I never felt so disrespected. I never felt so put down. Like there are good people there. I mean, I tell her, like good people did it. Them have good people. But then you have people with us, they're not, just not, they're just not ready. They get me, I say? Some did good, some never ready, and some did just, you know, who wanted our world to themselves. Which my experience was not so good at the man and us, to be honest. Like, mentally, that place that challenged me, challenged me, because let me tell you, say, take disrespect, take shame, take, take everything on a regular basis, you know? Traumatization, everything, you know? From the same, so that was a whole nether so when we can have a get into what happened right there. But um I'm gonna go to medical notes now. Yeah, at one point I made that work seven days a week, but before that I just said I work six days a week. Um as I say my hours my hours were guaranteed at both jobs because the only time McDonald's got my hours are when like near to the end when Miss Uncle when we did near for come back at Jamaica, near to the end. Then you start cut my hours like maybe the last two weeks then they start cut my hours then me, me say or the last week the last week of work maybe the the last week of work was when they start to cut my hours then me, me say but for the most part the whole of the summer comes straight down when I get my full hours um as me say it was basically a countryside um food is expensive like me no know for because of the location because it's Canada and I'm like nowhere. Which meant to say it was a countryside, right? It was the countryside to America. 
when me tell you that in the best believe when me tell us your countryside that was not what I expected when me go there and see the bush and me see the tree me say in a country this a country with your Jamaica this way the only thing I say um, they have a nicer house and the people are white so basically when we did it uh, <coughs> anyway so basically when we did it now um, we did go fishing right we did go fishing at one point so you can check out both of those um, videos basically we meet up on deer on squirrel and one bag of something one one bag of something basically Oh no, that was my weird experience, traumatization, disrespect, race, and even racism. One thing was say it's a place that majority of people white, you know, say some racism I got there. So that they did it as well. But for the most part, me give it a 7 out of 10. Like, the people that I work with, like, that one thing what me have to say. You see, the people that I work with are tricks, my co-workers, and my manager never yet discriminate against me because I'm a skin color. Never, never, never. And yes, even at the McDonald's, as much as how the experience never did so good right there, so me not think none of the like the regular the regular members them, the regular staff at McDonald's, the reg not the one that come in occasionally, you know. Which me don't even know what I mean by that but yeah, but the water move like the permanent workers them never yet discriminate against me because I'm a skin color. If not Dina nothing, I because of something else. But that I want to make can say. I know because I'm a skin color. I something else will I make whatever happen happen. But never yet the people I work with discriminate against me because I'm a skin color. At least the permanent one them. The one that I miss come in occasionally. One time this man come in like you know permanently work here but basically what the McDonald's do is that them send them move up workers and send some to a different branch because help out or whatever sometimes so basically me did that one day to this man but it said good morning to the man or so man the man the man look me na me yai and then the man walk past me like like okay so okay i know better but basically there were instances me just did it. if me go somewhere from in a store people just have steer for you and the thing about a town is that some of them are small minded meaning that they have never been outside of wisconsin them don't know the rest of america them not used to black people them not used to like they're not used to like different cultures when I'm over them i talk my part to them they understand nothing you hear me say they don't understand nothing could I literally in one store and somebody does a steer for me. So let's steer means them a steer for me. Like them, a, them just a, they just a look like, what are you doing here? That's the face. What she like with that? They must say, what she do ya? But basically, that was my experience. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And that's the end of this video. Bye, guys.